Good morning. My name is Roland Meinl from Aqua Enviro, and I'm here to talk to you about tracer testing. Tracer tests are used to evaluate the characteristics of a reaction vessel in the form of their plug flow characteristic, hydraulic resonance time, degree of short circuiting, and active volume. There's two main methods that exist, either step methods where small doses of tracer are added at regular time intervals, or slug methods where a single slug of tracer is added at one single point in time. For the purpose of this presentation, I'm going to be talking about slug methods. Slug tracer tests can be reliably undertaken upon live test vessels of any reasonable size. To be most effective, the vessels should have a continuous flow throughout the test duration, although tracer tests can be undertaken with almost any chemical. We typically use lithium chloride since it can be supplied as a chemical solution, but also lithium is not typically present in high concentrations in the background and it does not bind to solids which may or may not be present within the test vessel. Process jank tanks generally conform to either continuously stirred tank reactor CSTR or plug flow models where a CSTR is designed to mix the entire volume of the reactor much like a bucket while plug flow tanks are designed to transport the liquor throughout the tank without mixing much like ping pong balls in a hose pipe and they don't forward mix or back mix. Plug flow tanks are designed to transport on a continuous basis now, each has its own design consideration and advantages. For example, municipal anaerobic digesters tend to be large CSTRs, while activated sludge plants tend to be plug flow, since this provides better reaction kinetics. Testing these tanks is vital, either when new to demonstrate that design criteria have been met, or whilst operational, to evaluate whether tanks are in need of refurbishment or cleaning. As you might imagine, testing a tank is much less costly than cleaning it, and if tanks are regularly tested, targeted cleaning can be planned in. To undertake a test on any tank, we stop the feed into the tank, dose a slug of lithium, typically enough to reach 3 mg per litre in fully mixed conditions. We then sample at the outlet at regular intervals, intensively at first, uh, that reducing over time, for at least three hydraulic resonance times. Now that's the expected resonance time within the tank, accounting for the flow and volume at design. This typically generates a graph much like the one you can see below. Accounting for the flow and using calculation methods described by Octave Lebenspiel, that's uh, Chemical Reaction Engineering 1974, the flow and concentration can be converted into a residence time distribution curve, and recovery curves can also be created. Visual and statistic analysis of the data in the graph provides an assessment of the plug flow characteristic, the short circuiting, and the active volume. Acroenviro have undertaken these tests for a variety of clients, including water utilities, waste digestion facilities and Tier 1 contractors uh, within anaerobic digesters and activated sludge plant process tanks. For one particular client, we undertook the testing at 16 sites across their asset base to evaluate the current asset condition and provided targeted recommendations as to which assets should be refurbished first as part of a planned business case. By completing this work and feeding back to the client, we were able to select the top three sites which would best benefit from refurbishment works in the form of both cleaning or mechanical and electrical refurbishment, specifically mixer upgrades, reducing both capital and operational costs, ensuring efficient asset operation throughout its intended life. If you would like to know more about tracer tests, please contact me at inquiries at Thanks very much for your time.